These dialog functions are available from the dialog and user interface palette. Notice at the top row we have our one button, two button, and three button dialogs. Let's start with the two button. If we place down our two button dialog and activate our online help, we see that we have three inputs. First is a message. Next are button names for the true and the false buttons. For example, if we were to create a constant for the message and say, do you wish to quit? If we do not connect up the button name and false button name strings, the defaults, as we see from our screen here, are OK and cancel. Let's change those to be yes and no. And next, when we run this VI, we see that we get, indeed, a two-button dialog box with two choices, yes and no. Now, it's important to notice, even though we've asked whether we want to quit or not, that this is a custom dialog box which doesn't necessarily quit the program. It does whatever action we request it to do. For example, it may be that we want to have a case structure so that, depending on which button was pushed, different actions take place. In order to achieve that, we have an output from the two-button dialog box. In this case, it's a Boolean, which tells us whether it was the true button which was pushed. Of course, if the true button is false, that means it was the second button which was pushed. So in this case, for the true case, let's add a one-button dialog box. Now, the one-button dialog box doesn't give the user any options. So in this case, we would just simply say something along the lines of goodbye. So now when we run this VI, it says, do you wish to quit? If I say yes, it says goodbye. And I click OK, and that's the end. Of course, if we were to run this VI and I would say no, then the true case doesn't happen.